Hey guys, welcome to our show today. My name is Olivia and we are with Akila and Avery. So guys, what are we talking about today? I don't I don't know. What are we talking about? I don't know. What are we talking about? <laughs> Akila, what are we talking about? <laughs> We're talking about accents today, guys. So as you can see, when we just said the same sentence, it came out a little bit different with each of us. So we're going to talk about, you know, some of the little dips and channels and our own dialects and how we can sound different speaking the same exact language. Exactly. Yeah. Take us away, Avery. Um, <clears throat> I guess one question, this one's kind of basic, but uh, just kind of like to start the conversation, where were you born, <laughs> I guess? Well. Uh, I'm original. Uh, I mean, I was original born from Tanzania, but my parents from Congo. Though. Okay. Yeah. Um, my family is from Louisiana, but I was born in Georgia. I live here in Vermont, but I was born in Tucson, Arizona. You give me Arizona vibes, actually. Wow. Right? <laughs> give me Vermont uh, yeah. vibes. I think I got. It's I, the first I time actually, I've ever heard first that. First <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think it's rude that like, when? Somebody talk and they ask them like, yeah, where you from? <laughs> I think it can be rude, it just depends. Like, I feel like if you were so obviously like infatuated with somebody, either how they look or how they speak, and you're like, oh, like, where are you from, you know? Yeah. I feel like it, it just depends though, because I think people can be really like condescending or just yeah, like, yeah. it can be disrespectful undertones to it and not like genuine interest. Uh, yeah, I feel that. What do you think, Avery? Um, I agree with that, and I feel like it also just depends on how it comes off. You know, it's mm -hmm. like it's very different than like, oh, where are you from? Versus, hey, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. How you feel about it, Olivia? Yeah, actually, I actually agree with what you guys say. Yeah, I feel like it depends on the situation, I guess. Yeah. Has anybody ever, like, talk to you and been like, oh, you have an accent. Yeah, that happened to me multiple times. <laughs> Every? Um, I cannot say that's happened to me, really. Um, what about you? Ever, besides like the Vermont accent okay, um, yeah. versus Arizona yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeehaw. <laughs> Uh, people have definitely asked me, uh, where am I from? People do. They, they ask. Welcome back, guys. And we have one more person here. Hey, guys. I'm Andrew. All right. Now that we have everybody present, I'm going to go on with my question. Um, oh, well, Andrew, we asked our initial question, which was, where are you from? So do you want to tell us where you're from? Yes. Um, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. The capital of Mississippi. You're a southern, a southern person like me. Yes, I'm a southerner. Um, a southerner. Yeah. Don't say that too loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I crack jokes. Um, so I was asking Avery and Olivier if, when they go back home, do they notice mm. like differences in accents, even within people like from the same community? Like I know, when I'm in Atlanta. Um, there's a difference between how people talk on like the east side versus the west side of Atlanta. Even though it's all the same to some degree, but like how they go about it mm -hmm. is a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. What do you guys, thoughts, opinions? Uh, I would say yes from my experience. I feel like the way we talk and the way other people talk in a different place, it's like way different, yeah. Even the same language, too. So. I, I don't know, I feel like in Mississippi, everybody talks kind of the same <laughs> in like the whole state. So, but I don't know, I haven't explored the n northern parts of Mississippi as much as the southern parts, because mm. just I'm just a southerner, so yeah. Um, I've actually never <clears throat> been to Tucson, Arizona in recent time, um, only when I was really young, uh, but my best friend went to college there for a little bit, oddly enough. Um, so, from what I heard when I would FaceTime her, yes, the accent sounds different than here, so, yeah. <laughs> That's all. Do you have a question for us, Andrew, possibly? 
Hmm. Involving accents. Mm -hmm. Does the range of accents, like in being in Vermont, is there a range? Do y'all notice there's a range of accents, like from like northwestern or like midwestern to like east, yeah. east coast accents? I will say maybe I'm tone deaf because I feel like people here sound very similar to me. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, yeah, for the most part, everybody sounds pretty much the same. I hate to say it. Um, I know that there is like a towny accent, like people who are born and raised here, they kind of, but I don't think it's their accent necessarily. I think it's just their like overall way of approaching life <laughs> that you can tell that they're a Vermonter. Mm -hmm. um, but I have met some like country people here who mm -hmm. have, it's not a Southern accent, but they still have like a drawl and their accent that you can tell that they're not from like a city at all or they're not, yeah, they've been in the country all their life. From my experience, like my school is like with a lot of different people from different, like everywhere. So I feel like, yeah, it's like a lot of different accents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've definitely, like in Vermont, just met a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of different accents and then also there's like the Vermont accent that I mentioned earlier does anyone know what that is the Vermont accent to me sounds like the Minnesotan accent yes it sounds like yeah. Ohio or Utah yeah. oh, like it, it kind of <laughs> sounds like the the Midwest yeah, it region like the Midwest. it's it's kind it's not it's like it's not southern but it's kind of country yeah. but it just I'm sorry, it gives cold a little bit. <laughs> it's just like a very isolated, like, I don't know, way of talking. Yeah, that's like the only people here have. Fair enough. Uh, do, you um, guys, do you guys think like people's like, accent being different, that's like a cool thing? Or, uh, people just you know, think that just having the same accent was like, mm. I mean, it definitely is, is unique. Like, it's a unique feature about Vermont and just like the this like northern part of the states and like um I definitely notice people like communicate differently so I feel like it just helps you know with that communication when people like have different accents mm -hmm. yeah. what about you, um <clears throat> There, are de I definitely find like different accents um, cool and unique, um, but I often feel weird like vocalizing that because I don't know. I just feel like it'd be kind of strange approaching someone be like, "Hey, nice accent." <laughs> <laughs> um, it is. It's good. Yeah. I get yeah. It. <laughs> um, so that's a thought I kind of keep to myself, really, <laughs> unless I'm close to the person. But yeah. how about you? I feel like, of course it is. I feel like English is like such a, like a flat language for the most part. So like having people where, who English isn't their first language or maybe not even their second language, like they have a certain drawl and like the way that they pronounce words that I feel like kind of like gives life to a language that's otherwise very dead to me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I've, I noticed people here, uh, they say like, how's it going a lot? Like there are certain, I guess like euphemisms or like just slang that like people in New England specifically use that I feel like is just so interesting. And I think it does like kind of shift and change the way you think about language, like how you communicate with people because that's like people in Europe, they, they say the same thing like, <laughs> how's it going? How's it it's like, good, how's it going with you? <laughs> you? <laughs> but they mean it like, hey, like it's just, it's not really, yeah, it's not interpreted the same way. So I feel like that's interesting. And then the accent on top of it just, it's cool, yeah. Two thumbs up. Have y'all heard of a, a word that in this, like, atmosphere of Vermont that, like, that means something totally different in other places? Example, so I've heard this word, like, recently called piddle, and I was like, have you heard that word before? Piddle. I've, go ahead. Like, yeah, so I'm gonna use it in a sentence. So, someone was like, "Can I come in the house and piddle real quick?" And like, tinkle. 
same thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I say tinkle because I'm about sparkles and rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> also, the word urine makes me want to throw up. Mm. It makes me want to gag. And pee is, I don't know, it reminds me of dogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> I say tinkle. Or use the restroom. But piddle? Right. Piddle. Yeah, I've just recently been put on to that, and I'm like, that's so Vermont. Like, I have never heard that word before. I heard people that. use it to describe when their dogs pee, though. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, you took a piddle. I've heard that, but okay. I, don't I don't know. I don't know what was happening. <laughs> I mean, like, in that person's, well, like, why they used it in that context, but yeah, that's new. Have y'all had, like, an example of a word like that? Mm. I wouldn't say exactly like that, but I've heard the term uh, landslider before. Is yeah. it landslider or landslider? I can never remember. Um, or oh, flatlander? Or it might be that. Okay. Um, flatlander? Yeah, it actually might be flatlander. Um, <laughs> which, from my understanding, uh, is just. Someone who wasn't born in Vermont, so I guess I'm a Flatlander. Right, I'm Flatlanders, Flatlanders unite! <laughs> <laughs> We're all Flatlanders here. <laughs> this is we are an inclusive community. Okay, Flatlanders are welcome. Yes, runs off. We camera. missed. What <laughs> <laughs> about Flatlanders left? We're back with one less guest, or the same amount, depending on how you're doing the math. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What y'all talking about? What we talking about? We were talking about crazy words that we've heard in Vermont. Mm, piddle. Piddle. I wish I could erase that from my brain. Flatlander. 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 Derogatory. Um, I think so. I don't know. Do you have um, any that you can think of? Okay, I will say the last time when the when the high schoolers were here or whatever, mm. I had one of the the girls tell me. Oh, you went to uh, um, KKDs. KKDs. And I was so confused because I really, I was really trying and hoping that she wasn't talking about the KKK. Okay? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about, girl? <laughs> like, KKDs. And so I told her, I was like, oh, no, I'm not from here. I'm from Atlanta. And she was like, she looked at me so crazy. <laughs> she looked at me like I was absolutely insane. <laughs> I was like, that's not what you asked me, did Rain you? That's not confusing. Like, Literally, I had to like take it out, blow it, put it back in. <laughs> me too, honestly. She was like, country card deli. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> I so, like that place. I love KKDs. Now that I know it's called KKDs, I'll be saying that. <laughs> I have been using it, but just a little, you know, nicknames like Ruben James's RJs, which, you know, mm. uh, that makes sense. But I was not prepared just to hear KKD in a random <laughs> sentence and know what it was meant to yeah, be. Too many Ks. <laughs> too, one too many Ks, please. I've heard the the old North End called the one, which I really like. I've never heard that. That I sounds cold. Old North End. Really? I be telling people all the time. I stay in the one. <laughs> like, that's why I stay in the one. <laughs> that reminds I'm not me of lie, zones. I'm start doing that. <laughs> cool. That that you know. <laughs> say something ridiculous. That does remind me of um, Atlanta, and we have like our neighborhoods are zoned. Mm. They're zoned by police precincts, ACAB, anyways. But um, and we call them zones. So like I'm from Zone Four. Okay. But the one sounds like the plot of the 100. Like, do y'all know what the 100 is? The movie, the show about like the kids that get crash landed on the planet to see if it's inhabitable. And it's called the 100. I That's what it it gives the now. same. It's it was really good the first three seasons. After that, it just. Well, at least it got multiple seasons. How many seasons are there? It's like six. Oh. They always Netflix always gives the, the shows that don't need six seasons nine, um, which we didn't ask just for. Just keep resurrecting it for yeah. more. <laughs> no. Gotta, gotta drum it out somehow. It's true. What do you guys feel like is something that people from other places tell you that you sound funny saying, like, because of your accent? I think sometimes people tell me that I mumble when I talk mm -hmm. and like, or I talk too fast. I get I talk too fast. And like, I just be like, nah, I'm just excited. So I just like really, trying to say what I'm trying to say like really fast. So 
it's not like mumbling. And usually it's just like when you get comfortable, usually with people you start speaking in your like your normal pace. So it's like, yeah, I like pace it up sometimes. I don't know. Pace it up. Um I think this really has to do with my accent and words kind of leans into pronunciation, but um, two words that I definitely say uniquely are seagull and syrup. <laughs> seagull and syrup. Say both of them five times fast. <laughs> seagull, 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 syrup, 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 syrup. <laughs> I was thinking more like seagull, syrup, 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 syrup. Yeah, you see. <laughs> Boy, this is gonna be great at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you talk about you talk too fast, which I get often too, is like so weird being from the South because we're told that like we're associated with talking very slow because we draw out everything. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's funny because I'm like, I don't talk slow, like in pace. Mm. It's like I talk really, really fast, but people always get on me when I say y'all. Because they're like, who said, like, where are you from? Because you're obviously <laughs> not from New England saying y'all. I do say y'all. Well, because, like, that's, and I don't even think that's necessarily a Southern thing, like, saying y'all. I just feel like that's, again, like, a country thing. Like, I feel it's like not, that's an American thing. I don't think it's an American, I don't know. think it's an American thing. I can't hear, I cannot, like, imagine a Valley girl saying y'all. Unless she was at cheer camp. And she was like, hey, y'all. But I still feel like that's, like, <laughs> Southern still. Like, I feel like that's, like, a... The Valley Girl moved to Georgia. Yeah, her parents are like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, her parents are from the South. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, learned that. Mm -mm. That, and when I'm, when I say, in the video, they talk about double negatives, like, I'm not finna be, like, saying, especially finna, like, finna, just yeah. using, like, AAV, they be like, you're not from here, are you? <laughs> you're not from here, are you? Where are you from? Um, yeah, people, they do. You sound country, and not like New England country. Yeah, I've caught myself at times, like, I'll say something in like my normal voice, and then I'd be like, all right, let me Vermont it up a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can, razzle like, razzle. understand me, <laughs> like, yeah, but. Mm. For me, I'll do that, but not with like, my accent, I'll just make my voice sound less dead inside because I think it sounds dead inside now. <laughs> I am actively like slightly pitching it higher because okay. I sound otherwise <laughs> like I am uninterested and just do not want to be here. Like of my best friend, we sound like we hate each other. So. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> and Nothing. To make Living. it even more perfect, both of our like natural faces are like just Dead resting pain. dead inside faces. So. It's literally just like. Not y'all got a, a, a case of RBF. How's, how's it going? Mm. That's why Avery has nice. in the glasses. <laughs> so we won't see that he's actually staring into our souls right now. <laughs> it's definitely a perk. I love that, you know. I love the response to people when people say, How's it going? I'd be like, It's going. Uh, me too! <laughs> like, it's yeah, going, it's going. Man. I don't know where How's it's going. How's it going for you? <laughs> You know my response is um, existing or <laughs> functional. I like functional. I think I'll, how you doing today, Akilah? Functional, that's it, <laughs> that's all I have. <laughs> Nothing, not enthusiastically functional, just, just there. That sounds like you're about to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said functional. I didn't say, what is it called? Like Functional until five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> just let you know. I love that. Do you guys have like any like I don't know superstitions about like language or anything like that that you guys know of? Superstition in language? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I always try to watch my words because I feel like we just speak spells all the time. I don't know. I mean, if you a spell is like literally the spelling of <laughs> words, so I don't know. Yeah. Watch what you say. <laughs> <laughs> but Abracadabra. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hoping my wish would come true. <laughs> I gotta spell it out. <laughs> no, but that's serious. Definitely, like I, 
I don't think that's even, I still don't think it's a Southern thing, but like when you grow up in like a mildly religious or like consciously, re religiously conscious household. Oh, that was definitely me in the Southern. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's what I was like. It's not specific to the South, but I know like that's definitely like some black grandma. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Your tongue is powerful. They be like, watch your words. Your tongue can be a knife. So watch how you say things. We were not allowed to say can't in my house. Oh boy. Like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> don't say that. So that was like, not even a superstition, but again, like, words are powerful, so don't say that you can't do anything. Mm hmm. Be like, I can't, though. <laughs> I don't no, know. Now I just say I don't want to. Because <laughs> that's really what I want to say. When you're a kid, you, don't, you, can't, you can't get out of something that you're yeah, supposed you're to be doing. They'd be like, no, I can't doing. do it. Your whole life is regulated. I am unable to can. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't have the bandwidth at this particular time <laughs> to address these concerns. But when I update my status, maybe I'll be able to revisit this. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Imagine a four-year-old comes up to you. You're like, go get the remote. They're like, actually, the at this time, <laughs> I'm unable. You ever seen the project here? The protege? Yeah. No. Um, I feel like we should just get into movie talk. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was inevitable. Accents in movies. Okay, let's go. They have terrible good. accents in movies, especially, we can talk about The Little Mermaid. I didn't even watch it, but I know that the, the freaking Sebastian had a terrible Jamaican accent. <laughs> they religiously do terrible <laughs> Jamaican accents yeah. or Caribbean island accents on films. It's atrocious. That and African accents. They like mix up the dialects. <laughs> I don't like that for them. Yeah. Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> What's your spiel on the accents in movies? <laughs> um, uh, one that comes to mind, this isn't a movie, but a game. It actually does lead to one of the things I wrote down. <laughs> um, uh, in the original Resident Evil 4, because there's the 2005 one, the R 2003 4. remake, um, uh, it's set in unknown European country. It's Spain. I don't know why they assume say it's Spain. <laughs> um, but uh, for, and so everyone like there, all of the like, ever. Yeah, just everyone besides oh, your character, pretty yeah. much. Um, you talking about the village people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, They're all the, speaking uh, Spanish. Ganados. Um <laughs> Yeah, they all speak Spanish, but they use the wrong dialect of Spanish. Um, they <laughs> use the Mexican dialect versus... The Span Spanish, yeah. Spanish version. Um, of although I will say this in their defense, it's a Japanese company trying to make a game set in Spain for mainly Japanese and English for audiences. You said so that random. in a defense? It sounded like you were just throwing them under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Lord. the messenger, okay? Yeah. That oh, was man. Um, Devs, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know much about Spanish, but, uh, Maybe they clear it up in the remake. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe could have done some more in intense research on the dialects before they. Before they, yeah. I'll get back to y'all on that. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> you know who else had a freaking tear? Did, have y'all watched After Earth with Will Smith and Jaden Smith? I love that movie. That movie? It. Okay, <laughs> the movie itself, mm, mid, whatever. Okay, we got, like, the accents, however, know. were absolutely abysmal. Why did they have. This is. A hundred thousand years after Earth has already been left in the dust, and they come back with fake British accents. <laughs> I was so confused. I was so confused. I was so confused. I'm like, out of all the thi like, all the accents that were available mm -hmm. to use, they picked a random weird British accent, <laughs> and it like wasn't consistent throughout the movie, either, which also like kind of made me more. It pissed me off. Actually. Oh no! Wow. And I'm sorry to Jaden, but your accent, it was terrible. It was terrible. I mean, the Bad acting in that movie was, was terrible. <laughs> it, to wrap up, like, the acting got to be better with the accents and, like, the whole just trying to mesh them together. Like, mm. 
The accents deserve respect. They the do. accents deserve respect. So do your research. I will say British slash Australian actors, it's not fair how easily they can do an American accent it and is. we can't do the reverse. Well, Big America, stop tongue. trying to colonize. Then maybe we will be able to learn different dialects of English and not have everybody conform to ours. Sign the American people. <laughs> <laughs> Please. And that's a wrap. Yep. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>